The all-party parliamentary group was formed out of the gas safety all-party parliamentary group back in 2011 and it brought together the carbon monoxide or fuels forum because we became aware that it was a much bigger problem than just gas related um, and so with that all-party parliamentary group we've held inquiries we've looked at the consequences of low level chronic carbon monoxide poisoning as well as high levels um, of toxic fatal poisoning and we've been trying to push for a legal requirement for carbon monoxide detection it's with alarms installed um, we've achieved that for all rented properties um, in England as you're aware we have been concerned that across the UK there have been different um, regulations and that Scotland and Northern Ireland are more stringent than England and Wales and, and we would like to have that degree of stringency everywhere but we're also aware that prevention is essential um, and that the message about regular servicing and, and being aware of carbon monoxide needs to be out there. Obviously um, Nadine Coyle's recent um, expose of her experience um, has helped raise public awareness and we do need celebrities who speak out and speak to the younger people um, so that young people as well are aware and we had wanted to try to get carbon monoxide awareness incorporated in school curricula and so on and we haven't got there yet but I, I think again that's a route if children are, are aware and there are two major studies going on um, as well as a lot of other studies but the two I'd like to highlight are the one that's been supported by the Chief Coroner uh, which is being run with the Gas Safety Trust and the other is the population studies at Cranfield University. And so I think these will really contribute to our uh, background knowledge and then guide policy after that.